Hey guys, Nick Smith here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of anything in Photoshop. Now, the first thing I want to address real quick is why it's been a severe lack of content on here. Uh, I had some audio problems with some videos I recorded. I recorded a bunch in one day and didn't realize it had screwed up, and it just kind of tanked all the content I made. So I was trying to figure out a way to fix it or save it or something like that, but it just wasn't happening. Uh, the audio setup is slightly different today, so hopefully it's not too bad, but I'm working on fixing that as well. Uh, I got it working for now, but we'll see how it goes. So what you want to do real quick is open up a hue saturation adjustment layer, and we're going to find that in our adjustments panel down here. And then we're going to go ahead and zoom in, and I wanted to change the lip color because it was this purple color, and I don't really use colors like that too much. I usually prefer a red lip and, well, nowadays at least, so I wanted to change this because I recently re-edited this photo. So what you do is you are going to select this little hand tool right here and then you're just going to kind of click on the color you want to change and that will signal it out in here and up in here. So it kind of narrows in the color range and selects the channel you need to be on. So now we're just going to go ahead and quick move this left and right and I want to go with a red because I shoot a lot of red lip these days. And I think right about there looks good. And we want to increase the saturation a little to make it look a little more natural. Red lips and red lip pigments are usually very saturated. And we'll try decreasing the lightness and bringing it up. And honestly, I think we should just leave it at zero. I think it doesn't look good either way. I think it looks better at zero. And then that already just kind of changed it. Uh, and we can refine that a little bit more if we want to. Uh, so let's take a look. Now I want to put a mask on this, so I'm going to select this mask here and I'm going to hit Control i and invert just so I don't affect any colors anywhere else, which is important if you're doing this for something other than lips and if there's a lot of the color in the frame because you don't want to interfere with other things in your photo while you're doing this. So I'm just going to paint that back in real quick. All right, and now I'm gonna make a new layer by hitting Control-Alt-Shift-N. I'm gonna select just my regular brush tool and I'm gonna sample this red color right here. And the reason we're doing this is just to make it a little more consistent. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint over here and that looks really bad right now because we haven't changed our blending mode. But you'll see what I'm doing in just a second. And I'm kinda, kinda go close to the edges here because there's a little bit of purple there that I'm still seeing that didn't get changed. You look like right up in there. Okay, and then bring up my eraser tool by hitting E. I'll just kind of clean up this edge right here. Just like that. We don't have to be too perfect about it, but we're going to quick go down here and then we're going to select color down at the very bottom. Whoops, actually, I accidentally hit saturation. So we're going to select color. It will ever actually select what I want it to. Okay, so we can see here where we have bleed off. So we're gonna take our eraser tool and just sort of like refine that. Cause we don't want any edge bleeding. We don't want it to show where we've worked. That's a rookie mistake. So we're just gonna clean that up like this. Continue to kinda refine that. Okay, and all that does is it just makes the color a little more even when you do that, so. So it just evens it out. So we changed it, evened it out. Uh, you can also kind of go ahead and lower the opacity a little bit if you want a little more variance. Like if you looked at it at 100%, everything is all the same color, except for there's a little bit of like a highlight there or whatever. So we're gonna just change it downward just a little bit and what happened? Oh, I zoomed way in apparently. No idea how the hell that happened. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, right now we have that like that and it's just all it's too much monotone So I want to you know decrease it just a little bit So we'll go with something like 60% in opacity just so there's still a little bit of color variance So it's not just solid with only highlight and shadow and that just kind of adds a little bit to the image and Really that's about all there is to it. Uh, there's not it's not too difficult. It's really easy and It looks pretty natural. So let's toggle our before and after So that's before uh, it's after and that's all there is to it. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you learned something from me so other people can find my videos easier and learn from me as well. Feel free to share this on social media, Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, whatever you want. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.